what's up lucky um this is my video response to your video that you just did um about what people think about homosexuality um this is coming from my webcam so excuse me if it's slow so um when people talking about homosexuality as a sin what they think, and mostly, it's, I think there's a lot of smack that comes from the black community, and for anybody that is highly involved into the black community with their <laughs> their whole life force comes from the black community. I think it's very difficult for anyone to survive because. <clears throat> if you're out and you're proud, um, the black community doesn't quite support that. The black community would rather be the, uh, oblivious to it. They love you. They love homosexuals as long as they don't know that you're homosexual, as long as you're not out. If you're a Luther Vandross, or if you are, um, there's so many homosexuals in our community that are not out and proud, but we know they're gay, but, um, <laughs> or in they're in denial, I mean, but people love them anyways, and that's how the black community is, like, you know, they'll love you if you're not out, and if you are out, you best be the most flamboyant guy <laughs> out there, but, um, I've already written a blog about there's a need for strong black men who are gay. There's a need. There's a need for strong black men who are not ashamed of themselves because every other community has that. Every other... I'm not talking about gay community. I'm talking about racial. I'm talking about white folks have it. Latino folks have it. Everybody has it. Uh, Asian people have it. But the black community... We still hold our head in shame when it comes to gay guys. Not gay women. Gay men. Which is really sad because we have a lot of gay men who are strong, who are intelligent, who are not flamboyant and messy, but who are actually doing stuff for the community, who, who run stuff, who are in offices, who are in political offices, who are journalists, who are preachers, who are teachers, who are professors, who are inventors, um, who are doctors. I mean, there are gay men now, today, who are singers, who are rappers, who are very strong and intelligent. And they feel that just because they're gay, that would discredit all of that that they're doing, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, I believe in God. I do believe in a God. I don't know if it's the Christian, biblical God, hellfire, brimstone type God. I don't know if it's that God that the Christians believe in. But I do believe in a supreme being that we all come from because we're too intelligent to not come from anything <laughs> intelligence is not an accident so I believe in a God but I don't believe that this biblical God of hellfire and brimstone that the Christians have decided is ultimate. I don't know if that's quite true. I don't know if that's the truth. I'm not going to say it's a lie, but I just don't know if it's the truth, so I have doubt about that. Point blank. Um, my other doubts are, I don't know, I really don't believe in sin. I don't, what is it? 
what is it? I believe in right and wrong. But that is very relative compared to who you're talking to. When it comes down to the uh, absolutes, when you talk about things like sin, uh, that's an absolute. So that's saying there are absolute wrongs. <clears throat> and so when people say homosexuality is a sin, they're saying without a shadow of a doubt, no matter what you do, no matter what year it is, this will always be wrong. I don't believe in absolute wrongs. I believe that sometimes things are wrong, sometimes they're not. Um, some people think things are wrong, some people don't. I think things like homosexuality are relatively wrong, not absolutely wrong. Depending on what culture you are, where you are, if you only have four people on your island and you need to procreate your island and you have three females and one male, no, I'm sorry, you have two females, two males, and you need to procreate your island and you only have four people on your island um, and you're trying to uh, keep the population going. Homosexuality, I would suggest, would probably be a sin because it would be adverse to your goal of pro procreation. Um, but if you are overpopulated, if you have a small island and you have um, a <laughs> hundred people on a very small island and you have very f little bit of food left, homosexuality isn't that much of a sin anymore it's like hey you know people have to couple up and people have to love each other and people have to have sex but um, we don't want to have as many kids so let's calm this down um, I don't believe in absolutes to that extent I don't know what is this sin I don't know what it is it's a, it's a word in the Bible but nobody's really clearly defined to me what it is and how is it that something physical like blood can clean something that is relatively intangible nor can I see it and I don't want to question Christianity and the um, concepts of it but it doesn't make any sense to me sorry um, so I because in my logical mind or my spiritual mind or my emotional mind I can't understand what it is, then I don't even give it any second thought. What I do understand is that I love, and I love different people, and sometimes that those different people are the same sex. And I don't think it's anybody's right to tell me who I can and cannot love, so, or how I express that love to them. If I want to be sexual with them, that's my fucking business. I think people have to see it like that. I think you know you have to get over religion. You have to get over um, the general consensus of people's expectations and just say fuck it. Because when it comes down to it, it's about are you happy? Or aren't you not happy? Right? That's where it comes down to. And I think people allow themselves not to be happy because um, they have, they're trying to live up to other people's expectations that they consider uh, God. Because these people believe that they are living up to the expectations of God, but really they're living to the expectations of society the rules of society and um, that's pretty much how it is that's my two cents I'm not going to talk too long it's way past my time so I'm going to bed and that's my two cents I'm on tray crap brother talk to you later